Hello, how are you? It's time for some letters. 11 Oct 2021. Uh, I was I did a video this morning. I kind of changed the name of it. It was I, I was focusing on the tornado outbreak there in Oklahoma, and I wasn't getting a lot of views. So I flipped it over to what I also talked about, which was uh, uh, why would anybody want a big giant RV? You know, some of these RVs are as big as you know tractor trailer trucks, and they're huge, and they have diesel engines, and you know it, you take up five parking places. Why would you want an RV like that? You know, I don't know. Linda says, with all the crises we have, it makes one wonder if nomadic life is not too bad. You take your home with you, there's a lot to be debated about lifestyles. Yeah, well, yeah, if you want a nice, big, luxury, yeah, again, it's, it's, do you want to go out and explore nature or you just want to have a mobile home that you can live in luxury in? And I get it. People have different reasons for wanting to be a nomad or living in their vehicle. You know, if you want luxury, a piano, uh, <laughs> you, know, you can go, you can spend many, you know, many, many hundreds of thousands of dollars on an RV and it's beautiful, but it moves, you know, but you may not be able to take it up mountain logging roads or, you know, boondock in somebody's neighborhood, but it, you know, it sure is, is full of all the luxuries of, of, of a standalone apartment, you know, but then again, there are other people that want to, you know, go out in nature and do some cool, you know, off-roading and want to live simply. You know, so again, there are different kinds of nomads, right? Taylor says, I wonder who do you think you're complaining about RVers living in diesel, P-U-S-H-E-R-S. You know, I'm spelling that because you know why. The bots. Yeah, there's a certain nomad that wants to buy a diesel, P-U-S-H-E-R. We know, we know who that is. Kenny. <laughs> You live in an apartment with roomies. I do share my apartment with one person who uh, is pretty much a hermit, so I, we, I hardly even see him. But anyway, are you criticizing anyone with a big rig? Yes. Consider that you have never traveled anywhere in any vehicle anywhere. I completely disregard your opinions on this subject, says Taylor. Uh, first off, I have, I, I from 19, no, excuse me, <laughs> in the 19, what, in 19, um, uh, the, the, the 70s, I did uh, camp out with a friend and his dad uh, in the Jersey Pine Barrens numerous times in an RV. I did that trailer, whatever. Uh, I have traveled up and down the East Coast in a vehicle, C-A-R, I've done that. Uh, when I sold my condo in 2017, I uh, lived uh, on the road, in pe mainly on people's couches and guest rooms for three years, and I drove... Uh, Basically, from uh, the D.C. area down to Georgia and over to, you know, whatever, and everywhere in between, and, you know, anyway. I get around. <laughs> Jeez. You know, but I do understand that some people want to live in luxury in a mobile vehicle, like a giant big diesel P-U-S-H-E-R, and other people, you know, want to get out and camp and just use the, you know, they don't want to live in the vehicle as much as just use it to transport them to certain places where they can get out in nature and have some fun. Right? KCADV says, do you, I need a translator to understand Pop, Papa Texas? Pops Tejas. Uh, the subtitles work just fine. <laughs> yeah, a dude named Mark. Uh, did that. That's beautiful, isn't it? I yeah, think it's yeah, gorgeous. Did that one right there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay if I stand here and just do it, just read some stuff? On the camera, because I like it as the backdrop. Yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not yeah. drinking anything. No, no, <laughs> That's not my beer. <laughs> no, this one's mine. I'm gonna keep the can. Hey, when they sweet. That's when they done. Fifteen fifty. Wow, hey, that's hey. expensive. Beer. Oh no, that's for a six pack. Oh, and they say okay, yeah, yeah. yeah this yeah. is a, just a single. This is four dollars. Yeah. Okay. But okay. I'm gonna I'm cut a hole, cut it out, and use it for an ashtray. Okay, that's so, cool. Oh, when somebody West Coast showed, India Pale Ale, yeah, yeah, that, that thing was good, man. Because yeah. he he got all kinds, and you know we see these, and we gonna try them all. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. It huh? is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Because uh -huh. I mean, what, is that your dad? Our man was was our man your dad? No, no. No, no. Who's your people around here? I just I just live over there in Morganton Trading Company. Okay. All right. All right. Man, I mean, I, I know a lot of names. Yeah. And they, they all have been people. Done <laughs> all right. You take it easy. Thanks. Yeah. He was. Uh, came out of there. Oh. Okay.
Yeah, this is a, uh, what is this place? The, Bow the Brown Mountain Bottle Works. So I'm just out in the back. They don't use this deck during the day, so I just thought I'd uh, do some videos here. It's a nice, I love, I love the, the mural here. I just love it, okay? Anyway, so he's a nice guy. Hey. Um, 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 uh, be, 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 be. We were talking about, sorry we got interrupted there. We were talking about um, uh, b, b, people living in fancy, big, huge, giant RVs. Uh, R.A. says, big RVs equal bragging rights, the same reason some folks have to drive $300,000 cars. Tesla should make an RV. How about it, Elon Musk? How about a self-driving RV Tesla that costs like a million dollars? How about it? Olvo says, having a home slash home base is a lifeline when you have four walls and a plot of land or even a crummy basement apartment. You've got a chance of uh, being homeless. Not knowing where you're going to sleep every night can be exciting for a while when it's by choice. Right, right. But even then, it wears you down, especially when the money you use to support yourself is drying up. Then you meet the consequences of your actions. That's why the ones we don't talk about oh, are so angry at you and, and, the, tr and the trolls, because they don't see their own actions as the reason for the consequences happening to them. It's always somebody else's fault. That's very good psychology of, you know, we're just, all we're doing is shining the light of truth on some of this nomadic people, this nomadic world out there on YouTube and uh, people don't like what's flashed back at them in the mirror. So we're the mirror, the Camo Dave uh, Army mirror. <laughs> what? Gregory says, a house like Slim Potato Head's shack, a simple small wreck in the woods. Yes, yeah, Slim Potato Head's got that shack there in... Um, in New Brunswick there that he's fixing up and building out, so yeah, so that looks cool. That's cool, now see, that's what I like. If you're gonna do a home base, do someplace weirdly, oddly compelling like that. Camper Tan or Camper Van, oh, Camper Van 73. Why would anyone live with roommates in an old building converted to lofts? Again, I only have one roommate and I never see him, he's a hermit. Ridiculous, Dave, people can live anywhere they want. Look at the, I didn't say people can't live anywhere they want. I just, all I said was, why does somebody want a gigantic big RV? Doesn't that kind of delete the purpose of, or at least a lot of the purpose of why you want to be a mobile person, a mobile nomad? It's hard to move around. You can't park anywhere. You got to go to truck stops. You got to stay on interstate highways. You can't do back roads easily. You can't go off road. You can't go into parks. It's, it's, it gives you a lot of restrictions. Why would you want, if you're living on the road, free as the wind, why do you want to be in a giant truck with diesel P-U-S-H-E-R, <laughs> why do you want that? It just seems counterintuitive. Oh, we got Homesteader here, I, again, truncated, truncated. I agree, living in a tiny house uh, complex, a couple outbuildings that are also tiny. My cabin is 12 by 16. I built and developed over time and paid cash for all the improvements. If you actually, if you actually live in your, within your means, it would be surprise people when they can afford uh, versus what they what they can afford versus what they can't afford. It, being in debt, yeah, exactly, exactly. Debt, debt, debt ruins everything, doesn't it? Anyway, the lack of debt allows her or him to uh, travel and be able to take time off for other needs such as travel, health, and etc. Element Van Life Nate was one of the first Nomad channels I watched. I had tooled around in a Nissan Cube for my travel vehicle based on his element design. Yeah. A uh, little something or other says, how come CRVL is the only one of your YouTubers to file a patent on her channel name? That's actually a tra oh, trademark patent, right. I mean, I watched uh, YouTube since tw 2008 and she's the only one that does that. I do believe that a number of other nomads have, have trademarked their names. Okay, that prevents another nomad or another YouTuber from coming in with the same channel name and kind of trying to steal your channel. It isn't actually a bad idea. You know, if you're doing a business and you're making some decent money on your YouTube channel, you know, it probably isn't a bad idea to trademark your name. You know, just for as a business thing, you know, then somebody can't come along to YouTube and name themselves the same thing as you and try to steal your audience. However, 
if you're trying to use a trademark to get people to stop talking about you, there's no point in that. That's just silly. It's silly. It won't do that because, you know, heck, uh, you know, everything's a trademark. That's a trademark. Not the Brown Mountain Bottle Works, but I can say it, and I can say, hey, it's a lovely place here, and go, come go here, you know. I'm not saying I run this place or connected business-wise to it, but anyway. But, you know, I can certainly mention it, right? And I can certainly stand here until somebody kicks me out, right? Michael Douglas was a commie. Mike, okay, wait, wait. Mike Douglas was a commie. No, he wasn't. Mike, we're talking not about the actor Michael Douglas, you know, Kirk Douglas' son. We're talking about Mike Douglas, the TV talk show host from Philadelphia in the 1970s. Mike Douglas did have uh, John and Yoko on many of his shows, and he did have a lot of cool people. He did. He had, um, yeah, a lot of cool people, <laughs> a lot of comedians and stuff like that. But you know what? Roger Ailes was his executive producer. Did you know that? That Roger Ailes, the man who invent, helped Rupert Murdoch invent Fox News, which is no commie network, uh, helped, was, was uh, partnered with Mike Douglas, the talk show host in the 1970s. And for many years, it was the executive producer of Mike Douglas' show with all those people like, uh, yeah, like uh, John and Yoko. Finally, my doxinator. Oh, oh, I can't say his name anymore. He's trademarked that. Sorry. The the deinator. <laughs> the the, the deinator. Uh, Dave lives simply. Send more swag to the address in the description above. That is Camo Dave 104 North Green Street, number 116, Morgan Ton, North Carolina, 28655. I do like, I live simply, but I, and I, I love living off of your swag that you send me. I do appreciate that. All right. What? I, I would rather have a short bus than a long bus because a short bus would be a better bus to get around it, right? It would be more easily parkable and stuff. Uh, somebody says here, it's truncated. I can't read the comment. I want a short bus. Reminds me of my school days. Yeah. To the elite private school. <laughs> no. I went to public school my whole life. Can't you tell? Uh, I, if I did have a schoolie, and again, I'm not putting down anybody who has a schoolie. I'm just wondering why do you want such a big vehicle? You know, I mean, you look at Blue Van Dan, he's got that schoolie now. It's a big, long schoolie. He's got to park it, and, you know, it's it's a pain, you know? I don't know. If he's going to just park it there in Quartzsite and live in it for six months over the winter, well, that makes some sense. It gives him a lot more room than the little van does, the blue van, but... Uh, it's for, for traveling in it. Eh, if you're gonna be traveling a lot in your schoolie, I think a littler schoolie would be better than a bigger schoolie. What do you think? All right, folks, that ought to do it. Right here at the Brown Mountain Bottle Works, a uh, little deck out here. Uh, yeah, no trespassing after hours and no alcohol behind me. Yeah, anyway, that's okay. Okay, yeah, nice place and really nice. Uh, I, I do like, I've always admired their uh, mural here it's really cool all right folks thank you for watching uh vlog under